Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be talking about my experience of going to UK. So at first I feel happy, but at second I feel sad because I'll miss all my friends, I'll miss my school, I'll miss my old house, I'll miss everybody. So it's hard for me, you know, it's hard. So guys, I think I know my decision since we are going to UK. I'm going to be coming to visit my friends in Port Harcourt. And right now I'm in an apartment. Then tomorrow we are going to travel to UK. And I'm really sad and happy at the same time. I'm happy because at first I've never gone abroad. That's the thing. So I guess I'm going to abroad. Yay! But in the meantime I'm sad because... I miss all my friends. So all my friends were talk were saying that they will miss me. They will miss me. They even gave me plenty cards because of that. I said that I will give them cards. That the next day I will give them pictures. But since my exams have finished, right? My mom said that I'm not going to go to school that day. So I wanted to give them. I wanted to snap pictures of them, right? But. My mom said that we are not going to go to school that day. So they were waiting for me to come and I still did not come and I was so sad. I Since that time I've been remembering and I will never forget my friends even though I'm going to UK. So that's the point. I really, 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 really miss my friends. And once I'm going to UK, I feel like I'm all lonely. But I'll still miss friends there but I'll miss my Nigerian friends. So, actually, what I wanted to do is, any time that is like holidays, all those things, I'll come to Nigeria. If my mom agrees, that is, I don't know if she will agree. So, it's hard for me, you know. Even my friend Sisan, I miss her so much. She's the She's the, she's the reason I miss Nigeria. She's the reason. And I also love Nigeria because it has lots of resources. It has agriculture and all those things. So I really miss it. In UK, it's also nice, but I like um, Nigeria more. So that's the thing. And also, as I'm going to UK, there's one point i'm going to have there are different times everybody knows that so i'll not even know what time it is in nigeria and what time it is but i'll know the time in uk but not in nigeria so i don't even know when it's time to go to school in nigeria and i don't know the time to go to school in uk but that's just a lie so the thing is what i do is every day since let's say that the time is nine something in in um, Nigeria, it should be 10 something. So I'm so excited and sad at the same time, and I'm so happy. So it's like almost all the emotions together. So that's the thing. Um, guys, just know that um, second second thing is that Nigeria got um a new president, Tinubu, and he's and he's an I think a great guy. I don't know. But there's another president in UK. So I'm going to pass London. So, I'll, so I, I'm going to ask my mom if I can go to France on the next December. So actually, what I actually wanted to do all my life is to just go abroad. But this is my time and I'm so sad. Guys, seriously, I always wanted to go abroad, but now I'm sad to leave Nigeria. And first, my friend Jacob left on my fruits and vegetables day on, is it December or November? I think it's November. He left to Canada when my mom was still in Canada. So um, I don't know if if I'll see him one day when I, because I don't, I will not even know how he looks again. That's the point. And I'll miss all my friends' birthdays. All those things. And I'm so sad. I don't want that to happen. Even my friend Emanuela. If she's seen me now, I miss you so much, man. Even sister, I miss you so much. But still, I don't know what's, what's problem I'm having. I really want to stay in Nigeria, but I also want to go to UK. 
I'm actually leaving Nigeria. That is like 24 hours to get there because I'm actually going. I'm going to reach in UK on 22nd, which is next tomorrow, to see my dad. My dad is already there, and I really miss my dad. But I'm sad to leave Nigeria. Like seriously, I'm very sad. All my aunties, all my friends, all my everybody. What I'm gonna do is I'll set my own day that I'm going to Nigeria back because also my auntie Miss Miss Amarachi and Miss Lizzie they're saying in Nigeria while I'm going to UK what why can't they just follow us that's the reason but they have to go back to their father's land because we are staying there forever seriously we are just gonna have some vacations and Sophia leave here I'm doing a video if I carry your sister, I'm doing a video. Uh, uh, Real life, bro. See this thing. Uh, We're moving. So that, uh. Uh, stop me. Going. But Nigeria is a good place, actually. It's a good country. A good. We have good citizens, man. So just forget about what you say, man. If you say that maybe Nigeria is a bad place, just take that back, okay? Take that back. So, actually, I am so excited, sad, happy. I don't know. I have too many emotions. Oh, yeah, sorry, but let's go. Okay. <coughs> Mr. Mario, where is the weight? <laughs> Thirty. Thirty-four. Where is your weight? One thing. Let's remove one egg or something and like put inside the bag. Inside this bag. Mm. You cannot is there. Yes. Yes. There's that bubble wrap that took up space. Mm. I'm not going to add anything there again. Let's try it. It was 30 something. I'm 
mother's name. Her name is Mommy. Wabe. As you are one, Mama. Does she not have another name? Mommy. The way you pack, you know, pack uh, this uh, girl's uh, pack it uh, at least less on some dangle. Oh. Oh. Sophia, Sophia, eh? The other ones are fine. Yeah, Don't you do in the front? Let me go and pack it well. Sophia's dog. Sophia, this is your dog that's on the floor. Give me your baby. I'm going to start doing grandma work at this age. It's on the floor now. Thank you. 
Oh, man. Okay. You can imagine. Bring your backpack. Because we are guided to two. Yeah. It's a bit too much now. Okay, okay. Turn off and close. Uh, if they need the dog, see the dog. <laughs> Where are you at the dog? <laughs> I need your passport. Where are your passports? You go for profiling friends. Okay. I'll just move the bag back. Then I will call somebody that is wrapping before you come okay. back. Because uh, I want to just wrap. No, just mama, go profiling. Profiling. Yeah. That person down down. Ma, ma, look, look at my hand. This young man of putting on eyeglass. Okay. So Hmm? Oh, them. You guys see all our bags ready to go. Hmm? You need water. Take your ribina now. But you still need water. Where would they sell water? They sell water there. Yeah. Guys, I can't. I can't make this up. Like, <laughs> I'm even laughing, but it's not funny. I can't make this up. So. There's something they saw on our visa and they are saying that we cannot travel because of it. <laughs> I'll do anything. I'm not joking. Though. I'll do anything to go to UK. If it's 100 push up time, we'll do it. So yeah, but they are saying that we can't go. Well, so we are not going. Yeah. Totally we've not checked in now. So something, let's go. Because there's something that was is missing on top of our visa. So they are saying that we should go and get a reissuance of the visa. We are at the yeah. airport, we are about to check and tell us to go and get a reissuance of the visa that they issued us we just, normally. We are supposed to be good today. Yeah, that's why we are not, we've not gone now. So just know that all our money that uh, we've spent, all the house things, all the things we've given people, all the everything. Just know that <laughs> for now. So we have to go and start. Is, why this is funny to me that I remember watching Nezer's video where they gave her ticket up and I was like, what rubbish, what airline would do that kind of nonsense? Now my own is the same thing but in a different way. So anyway. Hi. Nobody's traveling. They can't go without us now. Only Sophia and Eva's visa is complete. Me and so and Corazon is not, so we can't even travel. So that's it. Um I think I'll give you guys an update when I reach my house because right now my head is just full. I'm laughing here, I'm smiling, but it's not funny. Only that, I don't know why I'm not even as angry as I would have been normally. I'm just seeing it as, see, eh? Whatever, my man, whatever, like, okay. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah, but, you know, what can we do now? Anyway, let me go back to where our things are. Um, probably get another car to come and carry us back home. But that's it. Alright, see you guys. Hi. I'm really excited to see Daddy because when Daddy left by this airport, I was really missing him and I wasn't and I waited this whole December to see him. Now the opportunity has gone. You still see him now, it's like not now. You you know even sense. You know sense. <laughs> Sophia, you you know sense. You don't know you don't know what's happening. Hmm? You don't know we're going back home. Yeah, so we're not come going come. today again. Come, come. Because we're VIPs, we need a special place. <laughs> <laughs> Sophia, come now. No, cool. What is the rivals now? No, this cool. girl. Sophia, come on. You leave her, you're not paying attention to her. The airport. The airport, man. No cool, man. No cool. Let me see.